All right, so let's go ahead and get started here by modeling our base hat inside of Maya. And you can see that I'm going to be using a polygon cylinder here. And this is just going to allow me to basically block out a um, base model inside of Maya. And that's really all we need to, to go ahead and export this out into to ZBrush so that we can really, you know, take in concept a lot faster. And you can see that we have our sniper head in here and you can simply download these files from going to teamfortress.com and clicking on the workshop link or clicking on the community link and you'll be able to go ahead and download these files that you'll need to go ahead and create hats for Team Fortress 2. Um, you should also be known that uh, you'll have to actually own Steam and Team Fortress to be able to upload these models into the workshop. And you can see here where I'm just simply going to extrude some faces here and some edges just so I can get a, a decent shape for my hat. And then I'll just, you know, basically play around in Z inside of ZBrush to really, you know, form that hat more to the shape that I actually want. And you can see I'm just extruding up here. Um, I am basically basing this off a, a concept um, that I just you know downloaded from Google. Um, meant to be more of say something like uh, for 4th of July. Um, but generally, <clears throat> I mean, this is probably going to end up looking like something from Rocky Four or something. But you know, a general idea here is just to make something look that's you know fairly funny looking, and just have a lot of fun with it. And you can see with inside a few uh, few strokes and few tools inside of my, we can really take and get that hat shape done fairly quickly. I mean, our base shape doesn't necessarily have to be, let's say, that complex. Um, we just want a general layout of the hat here. And then I can really, you know, go ahead and form the, the shape a lot better inside of ZBrush. And right there, I'm just beveling our, our edges to, to try and refine our shape a little bit more. Well, when we jump over here to ZBrush here in a little bit, you're going to see where, you know, we're going to be able to really concept out the hat, you know, a lot faster than we would actually inside of Maya here. And this will really, you know, play well whenever we go to actually make our textures because we can use our normal maps and, you know, an into occlusion map to actually make our textures a lot faster for the hat rather than, you know, doing it all from basically a very very low polygon model. It's just going to make it a lot easier on ourselves to to go ahead and use a program like ZBrush to you know sculpt out our model and stuff. You can see where I'm just you know trying to play with the shape here and adjust it as needed. And I'm just trying to get this hat to fit the sniper head a little bit better than um, than we have here, and just trying to edit some vertices and you know place it properly, and just basically concepting out a base shape inside of Maya here. But like I said, a lot of our work's going to be done inside of ZBrush, and all we really need here is just to make sure that we have you know a good layout of quad topology and uh, just a general shape to really get started inside of ZBrush and you can see where this is looking you know fairly decent um, definitely gonna have to you know add a couple more edge loops here to really refine the shape a little bit more and you can see where this is looking fairly funny um, already
but for the most part, I mean, this this looks you know fairly good right now. Um, I'm just making sure if I edit one side, I definitely go ahead and actually edit the other side as well. Mainly to try and keep the uh, <coughs> same shape on both sides here, the symmetry. And there you can see where we have our uh, our base hat pretty much concepted out and we'll go into ZBrush in the next lesson.